What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is another trading every player rebuild except this time it's with the Houston Rockets. So if you guys have not already make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate all of that so much but let's get into it. So all these players here are gonna need to be traded. That's gonna be really interesting to see how that works. Hopefully we get some offers for James Harden or Russell Westbrook. Um, but other than that this team's not too deep, but um, one thing I want to do before we get into trading is change Robert Covington to a small forward and also probably change P.J. Tucker to a small forward. Yeah. And now we should be able to make some trades here. So I want to see if there's going to be any offers for Harden. There's not. Is there a way I can turn Untouchables off or something? I'm going to go check. All right, so I'm not really sure how to do that, so we're going to have to figure out something for him. But we will start with Russell Westbrook and we will see what offers we get but first i want to make sure we go to contending because we should be able to get the best trade offers on contending so russell westbrook in the trade finder we have 11 offers so we'll ask siri hey siri pick a number one through 11. four donovan mitchell and mike conley that's actually a really solid trade that's one of the better trades out here so we will definitely do that and now we'll get in and try and see if we can trade james harden we still cannot so robert covington maybe pj tucker thrown in there with him if i like the offers we'll do it otherwise i'll maybe we'll just trade them one by one i think i'm going to trade them one by one so hey siri pick a number one through 24 She said 14, so we're going to go to 14 and see what that offer is and then make that deal. Mason Plumley and Monte Morris, not terrible. All right, who else do we have to trade? P.J. Tucker, we'll throw Eric Gordon with him. And hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Pick a number one through seven. She said three, so we're going with Sean Holmes and Kent Bazemore. Who else has to be traded off this team? Uh... Daniel House and Ben McLemore. Hey Siri. Picking number one through 15. We got 13. So we got Josh Hart and Etwan Moore. And who else has to be traded off this team? Damari Carroll. Is he on this team? I don't remember for sure. We'll trade him anyways. And hey Siri. Hey Siri. Pick a number one through 22. Seven. So we had Georges Niang and Ed Davis. And who else has to be traded? Kent Bazemore we brought in. So Tyson Chandler, Tabo Cephalosha. Um, we got 17. Hey Siri, picking number one through 17. She said 12. So we will go to 12 and take Timothy Luawu Cabarro and Garrett Temple. All right, now there's not many people left. Um, Bruno Caboclo, William Howard, and Melvin Frazier. We'll throw all three of them in the trade. There's three offers. Hey Siri, pick a number one through three. Two. We got Damian Jones and Charles Brown Jr. So now I think we're good, except we have to get rid of um, James Harden. So let's try and see if we can trade James Harden. Otherwise, I might go into selling mode and see if we can get a trade offer that way. So if we're selling, then I can maybe get something for James Harden. Okay, so there are 10 offers. So, hey Siri, pick a number one through 10. She said one. I don't remember what one was. Chris Middleton and Eric Bledsoe. All right, so this is the team now. We got Bledsoe, Mitchell, uh, Chris Middleton, Georges Niang, Rashawn Holmes. I think I'm going to switch Plumlee to a power forward to start for us. He's an 83 then. And off the bench, we got too many point guards. We're going to put Monte Morris at a shooting guard. And Austin Rivers at a small forward, I think. I guess. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to simulate the season. 
Um, oh, I should have went and checked if our front office was good. They should have a good front office. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, but there's definitely someone better out here. So we're going to bring in, oh my goodness, fire. Yes. Okay. Eric Brown and then head coach. Sorry, Mike D'Antoni. We're going to have to bring in Michael Stoffer and an assistant coach. He's gone as well. We're going to bring in Trent Peterson and a trainer. Um, trainer's actually solid, so we're going to stick with that. And now the system, pace and space, is three stars. Uh, balance is three and a half, so we're going to run a balance system. I'll catch you guys at the end of season number one. So I'm trying to make this deal work somehow, but I feel like it's not going to work no matter how I try and do it. So let's try and throw in like a solid player with some trade value, maybe like Niang. Um... Okay, they don't want to do that. So let's try to um, go find a center that we want to get then. Aiton's going to be untouchable. Towns is going to be untouchable. Could we bring in Nurkic somehow? Chris Middleton. You know, this would save us money. Um, it's not the greatest trade, but if I could take out Zach Collins. Oh, they probably need Zach Collins for the money to work. So maybe we throw in like is there somebody else i would rather have not really so maybe we throw in zach collins and i'm trying to get a pick though too so give me your 2022 pick they want niang in a 2021 not gonna happen i don't want trent jr though um do this okay um give me like your 2023 pick then All right, so we're just going to do this trade straight up. All right, so now I can trade Rashawn Holmes, I think. And then we should be able to sign a couple more people in free agency and then get into the season. So there's a pick and Deadman, Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald actually be really solid. I know, like, we'd have to give up some assets there, but to have Buddy Heald... Uh, come off the bench would be really nice actually. So we're gonna make that work and then free agency We're just gonna sign some people we can afford like Joe Harris We'll offer him this contract and he does sign so now we can get like Zach Randolph And we got Zebo. Let's try and get each one more as well All right, I think we're good. I'll go to player progression. We'll see how good this team looks uh, The team is actually really stacked um I like this team a lot. So we will go to training camps. I'll send a couple people and then I'll get into the season. So here is the team right now. Dinwiddie starting at point guard, uh, then Mitchell Hart. So we bet we really need a small forward. So that's probably going to be Buddy Heald for us. Um, he stays at an 83. So we'll run him at small forward. And then off the bench, we have a shooting guard, a point guard, small forward. So we really just need to trade like Hart or Harris for a center. And we should be pretty good. So if we take... What happens to Josh Hart's... Um, overall, if he goes to like a shooting guard, he's actually best at a small forward. So we'll trade Josh Hart here and just try and bring it up back up center. Uh, maybe a couple second round picks can go with him. You know, like a Daniel Gafford or a Zubak would be pretty good. Kavon Looney. I think I like some of these trades that have, um, centers or not centers picks with them like Alex Len. Yeah, we'll do Alex Len. Okay, so now... All right, I think we're pretty good then off the bench. Um, probably start... Probably run a 10-man rotation, I think. Go down to 10-man. And then I'm probably going to put Collins in over Etwan more just because position-wise it works a little bit better. So system balance is 3.5. Is pace and space also three and a half? It is. So we're going to run pace and space because that's our coach's preferred system. Simulate season number two. Hopefully this team is good. And maybe we can make some more moves next offseason if we don't win a championship this year. So season number two wrapped up here. And this time Giannis wins MVP. So back-to-back -back MVPs for the Bucks, And LaMelo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. DeMarcus Cousins, sixth man in Minnesota, backing up Cat. And then Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year with Chris Stops, Most Improved. And Rick, Kyle Rick Carlisle winning Coach of the Year. We ended up with 46 wins, which is... Ah, pretty solid. We were 46 and 36. Do we have any Rockets on any of these teams? Anthony Davis does make all NBA second team and all defensive second team as well. And then we didn't have any rookies this season. So we are the five seed. We're going up against Memphis. Uh, let's check out the stats quick. 
Anthony Davis played well, um, you know, 24 and 12 is nothing to be upset about. And then everybody else just did their thing, I guess. All right, let's simulate this playoff round and see what happens. We go down 0-1, now we're up 2-1. Wow, we went in seven. So now we're going up against Luka and Dallas, which will probably, yeah, we got swept. All right, let's aim at the playoffs, see who wins this time. Wow, Philly swept Milwaukee. The James Harden, Giannis-led Milwaukee team got beat by Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Ben Simmons wins finals MVP, and it's time to go to the offseason again. See how this draft looks for us. We are projected the second pick from the Lakers and the 14th pick from Phoenix. We end up with six from the Lakers and 14 from Phoenix. That's fine. Uh, you know, it's better than what we had last year, which was absolutely nothing. So let's go to the draft quick. Um, all right. Let's see if we can get anything for these picks. If I throw both of them in the trade, can I somehow get something good or am I going to want to draft? Because realistically, drafting these people right now isn't going to be that helpful, but I can always throw them in trade. So that's probably what we're going to do. I'll just uh, I'll just go to my pick, and uh, we'll take somebody, and then we'll see what we can do after that. So Terrence Clark, and then to 14, we have Trey Jones, who should have been in last year's draft class. Um, who is the best player available here? I'm going to go with... Ibu Dianko Baji, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, probably not, though, but I did try my best. So let's get out of that. Let's sign our rookies, 77 and a 73. Um, we're going to accept team option on Nurkic. Dinwiddie declined his player option. We'll accept Karuk's team option as well. And qualifying offers, Donovan Mitchell get his, none, and Collins. So in free agency, Kawhi is out here. We are really not even that far off from signing Kawhi. Um, you know, there's people that we'd have to trade. I would like to trade Buddy Heald. Maybe get somebody uh, cheaper. You know, like this trade does save us a bit of money, and it's really not a downgrade much at all. We'd also just trade him for Clay Thompson, but I don't want to do that. So we're probably going to go with this uh, TJ Warren trade. And who else could we try and trade to free up a little bit of money? You know, like Anthony Davis we obviously can't trade, but I could trade Nurkic and see what we can get for him if we could get... Like Wendell, who makes less money and is actually just about as good. That would be good. Clint Capella makes more money. Uh, Mitchell Robinson on that one-year deal is always so enticing. We'd also bring in a first-round pick. Like, how do you not do that trade every time it pops up? Like, it's literally such good value. An 88 overall center and a first-round pick. And now we should have enough money for Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, that's crazy. So, player option, no trade clause. Offer Kawhi. Otherwise, we're going to offer Paul George. And we're going to have to match Donovan Mitchell. But if we can get Kawhi, I don't care about Donovan Mitchell. Um, otherwise, Rudy Gobert. We got Kawhi Leonard to agree. Okay, we, we got to give up the rights on Donovan Mitchell. I'm fine with that. We also got to give up the rights on uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. Which is a sad day, but... Okay, so we can't match Donovan Mitchell or else we're going to lose Kawhi. So, all right. Let's go make sure Kawhi's on the team. He is. So we have Anthony Davis and Kawhi. Beautiful. That's so beautiful. Um, what other moves can we make? Could we trade TJ Warren to try and... Actually, Joe Harris makes $7 million. I could get something better for him. This is better. Killian Hayes. Eh. Kevin Porter Jr. on $2 million is a lot cheaper. And what other moves is there? Alex Len making $4 million. No reason to have him on the team for that amount of money. A couple draft picks we're going to take for Alex Len. Um, TJ Warren now. He makes twelve point three. If we could trade him for somebody that could save us a little bit of money, uh, we will do that as well. So it's not really looking like it. Maybe we'll throw in a pick with TJ Warren if that helps at all. It might make it worse. Yeah, it's not really helping any. Um. All right, TJ Warren and Baji. Can that get us anything? 
Not really. Okay, so I think we're good there. Let's just sign some lower tier free agents. We could bring Monte Morris back. Rondé Hollis Jefferson maybe could come to the team. Okay, so we got both of them. We're not going to be able to get Rondé though. So now we could get like Sato. And we got Sato. Who else could we bring into the team? Jamichael Green. Jeremy Lin. We got both of them. All right, I think we're good. So we will get out of free agency. I'll go to player progression. We'll see how the team looks. But honestly, with Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard, it's game over. Also, Mitchell Robinson, TJ Warren. Okay, so this team is really good. I'll send a couple people to training camps, and then we'll get into season number three, and we'll simulate, and then hopefully win a championship and be good. So I'll catch you guys in the season. So we really do need a point guard, and that's kind of rough, but I can trade like Kevin Porter Jr. and probably try and get a point guard in here for us. So Kevin Porter Jr. with Sadoransky, first round pick. Maybe we can bring in a solid point guard to come in. Um, Not really. So maybe we throw in, instead of that, we throw in like Terrence Clark and maybe we can get a point guard. Maybe we take out Sato. Zach Levine and Wendell, I could bring both of them in. That wouldn't be that bad. I could run Zach Levine at point guard, I guess. So we could change Zach Levine to a point guard. He's gonna go down a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, Sadoransky running shooting guard is not the move. So maybe we trade, actually, let's try and trade away Kendrick Nunn. And Baji with the first round pick. Maybe we can bring in a point guard or a shooting guard. Matisse Thibel. Eh, let's just change Kendrick Nunn to a shooting guard, I guess. So Kendrick Nunn down here, shooting guard. He's an 83. Okay. So this is now the starting lineup. This is the bench. I just need to trade, like, for a shooting guard off the bench, and then we're good. So let's trade... Baji, couple first round picks, and maybe we can bring in a good shooting guard to come off the bench for us. Then we should be set to simulate this season. All right, so Baji's not as good as I thought he would be. So if we take out this first round pick and we throw in like Karooks, and not Karooks, um, Jeremy Lin, maybe we can get a shooting guard. Dante DiVincenzo. So starting lineup, bench, really solid. 10-man rotation is going to look good for this season. I will simulate. We will see what happens. Kendrick Nunn moved to the bench for DiVincenzo. I'm fine with that. System, pace and space is four stars. All right, we're going to run with that. I'll simulate season number three. Hopefully this is the year we win a championship. I'll catch you guys at the end of it. So we win 64 and 18 we probably are the best team in the league. Ja Morant won MVP. Jalen Green won Rookie of the Year. And six man. Defensive player went to Anthony Davis in Houston. Let's go. Donovan Mitchell won Most Improved in LA. And Dwayne Casey won Coach of the Year. Oh, so Donovan Mitchell went to the Clippers after they lost Kawhi. All right. Um, nobody in All-NBA first team. Second team, we do have Anthony Davis. And third team, we have Kawhi. Defensive team, we have Anthony Davis. Second team, Kawhi. All right. Let's check out these stats quick before we get into the playoffs. Anthony Davis averaged 24, Kawhi 22, Zach Levine averaged 20 as our point guard, uh, TJ Warren 12, Wendell 10, Kendrick Nunn 10, Mitchell Robinson 10. All right, so I'm going to go reset this, the lineup just to be sure we're good. And all right, so we are set. And now let's get into the playoffs and let's see what we can do. We're going up against Denver in the first round. We're up 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 3-0, and 4-0. We do sweep them. Time to go up against Portland, who still has Dame. Now they have Chris Middleton, Dario Sarch, Jabari Parker playing center. Not it, dude. Uh, we're up. We sweep them as well. Time to go up against Ja, Dylan Brooks, Rodney Hood, Brandon Clark, and Jonas Valanciunas. Jaron Jackson Jr. is coming off the bench. Josh Richardson, Tyus Jones. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. And we win 4-1. Time to go up against Kemba, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Taco Fall. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Tied 2-2. Um, let's go down to a nine-man rotation. And let's go back. Simulate with SimCast. Wow, they jump out to a really early lead to start out with. Okay, um, we're going to go down 3-2 here. 
We gotta win this one. <clears throat> We're getting blown out. Are you kidding me? That team is not better than us. Boston wins the championship. How is that team better than this team? We have a 98 and 96. How is that team better? It's not. I'm upset. That should not have happened, but whatever, I guess. All right. I would have jumped in and played, but I don't have any time because I have to leave in like three minutes. But um, yeah, so that's all we did. 4-2, we end up losing in the finals. Not sure how that happened, but it is what it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this Rockets uh, rebuild. It was a lot of fun to do it. Signing AD and also signing Kawhi was huge for us. Obviously not big enough though. So um, yeah, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and you are not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe, like this video. Uh, like 50% of people that watch my video still are not subscribed. If you guys all subscribe, that would help me out a ton. Appreciate you all so much. Other than that, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.